Hi, welcome to another epic adventure at Weaver Stone House Farm. Today, we are feeding our bees. Um, we've had some losses with our bee colonies this winter. So we have one that's still holding on, but they the cluster's up at the top of the hive body, so they are about out of food. So we are feeding them. We bought this candy board feeder off of Actually, we got it off of, of Etsy. I lined it with some tissue paper. Um, it's not really hardware cloth. That looks like fence. The metal on there, it looks like fence and wire. Like really skinny fence and wire, but... Okay. It's not so cloth, so just you... note. Hold on, let's zoom in, because that confuses me. Right there. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it is some type of... It's wire. Wire mesh. Small wire mesh. Sorry. Okay, so when you're making your candy board, we used... Okay, this is not completely full. We're at the end of February. If um, we were feeding them in like a month earlier in January, I would probably have filled this up more. Okay, this took five, we did five pounds of white sugar, plain old white sugar. You don't want to use anything organic or natural, just plain old white sugar. We added a cup of water and about a teaspoon of Honey Bee Healthy, which is, um, it's like a feeding stimulant. There's essential oils, there's mint and wintergreen in it. And then we added a little bit, like a little glug of vinegar to um, keep it from, you know, getting funky or moldy or anything. So we just mixed that up um, and pressed it in here. So we did press, there is a block that came with our feeder board. Hold on, lift that up. Okay, so you put the block in. So, and we had a spot where the tissue paper isn't so that the bees, if they have to escape, they can come up and out the hole there. And that also lets the moisture in the hive come up through. So we're going to go ahead and throw this on our hive and feed our honeybees. Sweet. All right, here we go. So what I do is the old switcheroo. Take that little block out. Now, usually you don't want to open your bees up on a really cold day. But um, this is kind of necessary today. And yeah, they were up there pretty good. Yeah, so when they're up at the tippy top like that, they eat their way up through the winter. So there might be some honey left in there, but as they go up, they don't go back down. Stay in there. You don't want that plugged. I'm gonna hold that on. There it is. Okay, so that doesn't really work for us as an emergency. Yeah, it does. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> okay. Yep, a little cold. Go back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Come here. Yeah, get back in there. Come here. So now as they eat this candy board, you might pop your hive open and not see any activity near the top because they're eating it from the bottom up. So some things to look for to see that they're actually eating it, it will cave in a little bit as they eat it from the bottom. You can look at that or you can pull it completely off and give it a quick peek. Okay. Sweet. See you next time on the farm. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.